Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Spartan News. Before we get into anything, we're going to take it with Alex with some quick news regarding a recent alum. SUNY Poly student Alex Heward looked forward to sharing some magic with his fellow students. Alex, a 2015 grad, and, and purchased 25 special booster packs for the card game Packs Unplugged with the intention of using them for an on-campus event. Once the event was shut down due to COVID, Alex wanted to do something to help his community. Instead of holding an event, Alex decided to sell the booster packs and was able to raise $1,375 over a six-week period. Alex then contacted Emercha Looney, volunteer intern coordinator for the rescue mission at, of Utica, who told him that men's boots and socks were desperately needed items for people on the, in the community. When the shopping was done, the back of his family's SUV was filled with 45 pairs of boots and 45 pairs of socks. Pretty interesting news story, Ty. Yes, Alex, that was very interesting. A very wholesome story it was. So uh, before we get into news with Josh, today we're going to be previewing a little bit about the youth soccer scene in America and across the world in various places such as Europe, South America, and Asia. So with that, we'll take it to Josh. Yesterday, President Biden ordered an airstrike on buildings in Syria that the Pentagon says were used by Iranian-backed militias in response to the rocket attack on the U.S. personnel in Iraq. Today, London-based system Observatory for Human Rights say the airstrike have killed at least 22 people. John Kirby, the Pentagon press secretary, decided that the bombing be carefully calibrated, calling a propagate in the defense this operation the first will use military force by the Biden administration. The decision appeared aimed at sec sending a signal to Iran and its proxies the Washington wouldn't tolerate attacks on its troops in Iraq, e even a sensitive diplomatic moment. In upstate New York, appointments for the COVID vaccine currently have open spots. The location are located in Albany, Buffalo, and Rochester. According to the governor, Andrew Cuomo's office, after the appointments will be open to all residents of the country, counties served by the three sites. Remember the Monster High doll toy line in the movies from the early 2010s? <laughs> They're back on Nickelodeon is timing up with the Maddie Dell toy community. They also make Barbie and Universal to bring a cartoon Monster High TV series. This series is coming in 2022. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's interested in participating in the indoor track season, which will take place from March 8th to April 24th. Please sign up on the family ID as soon as possible and email coachstob at cstob at esm.org for more information. So before we get into the significance of the sport in the United States, we have to cover the different levels that it's played at. Uh, there are so many different levels of youth soccer. There's your recreational teams, your high school teams, and then your club teams, and then your uh, big MLS Next Academies, which is just a big opportunity for you to uh, stem to possibly a professional team or even their youth academy. Uh, if you don't already play for professional youth team, uh, being on a team in the MLS Next is probably the biggest opportunity you can receive to not only enter a professional team in their youth squad, uh, potentially go overseas to play soccer where some of the highest levels of soccer are being played, or even play Division I soccer within this area and across the country.
So I actually have a little uh, graph on the board. I don't know if that's, if that's possible to get pulled up. But yeah, so right here is just a little, little infograph, I guess you would say, of uh, what. So on the left-hand side, you have Empire United Boys DA. That's the MLS Next program. And then under that, you have high school student athletes. And as you can see, you know, the numbers for high school athletes going into playing a high level of uh, soccer straight from high school is very low. Division one is 1.3 percent. That's really low. So then, you know, being in uh, a, a setting where the s soccer level is very high, you have a, a really high chance of, you know, going to possibly a better school. Uh, being able to adventure into other opportunities, meet a ton of new people. Uh, so, like I was going to say, uh, talking about uh, soccer across the world, in Europe, uh, soccer is the most uh, beloved sport. It is cherished and accepted. Uh, luckily for a lot of kids in Europe, uh, it is all funded for and funded by the by the club that you play for so there's a lot of opportunity for kids to change their life and become professional athletes and that's a big debate going on in the United States right now whether uh, playing for a big soccer team in the United States should be uh, free or not because one it opens a ton of gateways for a lot more opportunities for kids with less advantages uh, financially, and it will uh, create more of a, a scene, you know, for the United States as, as the sport grows and as it has really grown in the last couple of years. So with more sports, we'll take it with Tanner. The Syracuse women's basketball team came away with a big win against Boston College, 92 to 75. The Orange were led by in points by Tiana Manakahia, who had 19. This win leaves the girls with a 12 and 6 record and puts them in fourth in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Last night in the NBA, the loss, the Milwaukee Bucks beat the New Orleans Pelicans 125 to 125. I mean 129 to 125. Giannis Antetokounmpo scored 38 points in last night's victory. Now, NBA players and fans alike have started pushing for the league to change the character on the logo from Jerry West to Kobe Bryant. Kyrie Irving is one of these players spearheading the movement, saying Kobe Bryant logo, yes, needs to happen. I don't care what anyone says. Recently has been seen and noticed that the level of soccer being played in the United States is starting to increase in skill cap and also participants. Many lives have been changed by play, having a chance to go play overseas and become professional athletes. Glad to have shared this little information with you ahead of the weekend. So from here in Spartan News, welcome and have a great Friday. And I'm Tanner with your sports. Yeah, so uh, with that, with that, we'll, we'll take it. So we hope everybody has a great Friday and we'll see you later.